All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a new monster skill balancing patch to go over. Before we get into it, I do wanna say that we are gonna be going over just the water unit changes this time. So we can really try to focus on that and you know figure out what new content we have to play around with. And I really think for this balance patch as a whole, if I'm going just by looking at the water units, I, I'm really disappointed by some of these changes and we'll, we'll get into why. So the water omyoji has now been nerfed once again. So they have removed the decreases the ally target skill cooldown by one turn from Shizuka's second skill. I am really disappointed by this. The only other water unit in the game that can reset cooldowns like this, it's the water sylphid on her third skill. She's the only other unit in the game that can do this, or at least the only water unit in the game. And I enjoyed this kind of mechanic. So they've already made it so that she can't use her soul protect on herself so now her second skill all she can do is she can put a measly soul protect on her allies and it makes her skill too really bad i wish they would compensate this in some way you know i don't know if it's allowing her to use the soul protect on herself anymore but yeah i'm not a fan i, I really am not so i don't know i i have three shizukas have not used them in quite a while and i probably am not going to be using them very often now if any so that's the first nerf i'm <laughs> not really happy about that one you know at least i'm not gonna fight her as much in RTA, so it makes it easier for me to not have to face her as much. The next change is for the Battle Angels. So the Water Battle Angel is has gotten nerfed. I actually really don't like this nerf for the Water Battle Angel because I don't think she was that crazy strong. If anything, I used her a lot in DOA, but that was about it. So they have removed the chance to land a glancing hit for two turns. So no more glancing debuff. And then they have lowered the amount of attacks that the skill does. It is now two to three instead of three to four. And this is after they already removed the damage based on speed as well. Like they're doubling up on the nerfs for this. Now they have tweaked the passive of the Water Battle Angel by just a little bit. It now deals damage based off of 4% of the target's max HP per harmful effect up to 12 percent instead of three so while they have compensated it just a little bit this is still a, a damage nerf because it's missing an entire attack and so even putting up the percentage by just a little bit it doesn't equal it out the water battle angel is still getting nerfed and it's gonna be harder because you can't even do the glancing debuff anymore i think it's a big nerf to the unit i hope she's still gonna be fine in toa because i've been using her for that like toa hard and like she doesn't apply to bosses either so it's hard to use her in toa hell because then you're missing a, a DPS for the boss slot. But I guess the light units for both versions were like way too broken. And so here we are now. So skipping through all of these changes. Now we are down to the Water Monkey King. They have added an effect to his third skill. It now stuns the enemy for one turn with a 15% chance if the attack lands as a critical hit. You know, maybe it'll make him more useful. I, I haven't really been using him much. I've now added him to my R5 team for his attack lead just for a bit more damage damage compared to uh, the Water Sea Emperor, because I still don't have the Water Weapon Master. I need him for that. The third skill can already strip, so it's strip into stun for up to, is it six or seven hits for the third skill? It's a, it's a lot of hits. So hopefully it'll be a reliable amount of chances to stun. It'll be a little little increase for the monkey, but I don't think it's going to be like a, a crazy change for the unit. Our next change is for the Water Vampire. They have buffed Killing Wave. They have increased the chance to defense break, which is good. It's I'm glad that they're raising that because 20% was awful. It really never happened and if it did it was on like the latest like the last hit and they are now making it so it can decrease the attack bar of all enemies by 20%. I'm going to assume that this is per hit so hopefully you can get up to 100% attack bar decrease. I mean it'll be a nice increase for the water vampire. It's really not the buff I, I personally wanted. I wish they just make the water vampire have a guaranteed crit against all units. Only having it guaranteed crit against five Fire is not that helpful. It helps you against like Carcano, um, but that's about it. I like to build my water vampire on no crit rate and all crit damage. And so you just pump a bunch of damage on them and then hopefully guaranteed crit. You know, maybe in the future they'll change that. It's 
kind of odd that it's only against fire units, but... And we're skipping through all of these wind homunculus changes. <laughs> they added Necropolis Abyssal Dungeons for Necropolis now, so I'm assuming all these wind changes are for that. Though they haven't adjusted any of the other homunculus, it's just the wind one, which is like half the balance patch. Then we have an adjustment for the Water Chimera. They are now making it so that the third skill also decreases the attack bar of the selected target by 100%. So Teor's third skill can freeze and push back the attack bar of all units, but it's it's only a single target freeze. You know, it, it's an alright change. Definitely not what I was hoping for for the unit. I don't understand why the AoE is only half damage. I think that's kind of strange. You have Lagmaron who does full damage against everybody, which also scales with speed. I definitely think they should make Teor's third skill scale with speed and remove the half damage if they want to make him more useful as a cleaver unit. And then we have a buff to the nine-tailed foxes. So the first skill now leaves a branding effect for two turns with a 15% chance. So the branding can be a bit more useful. I think it can be useful if you're using her in, say, maybe the slime boss, because I do have mine ruined up for slime boss. That might be a bit more useful there. They're adding an effect to the third skill. It increases the attack bar of all allies by 15% each if there are no harmful effects to remove from the allies. This is your uh, budget Tiana now. I personally am not that happy with this because it's really gonna mess up turn order. If you're trying to use this unit in a team where you actually want to cleanse, like what happens when your galleon gets strip stunned but your Alicia doesn't, and then so you cleanse the stun and your Alicia gets the attack bar increase and now she moves before your galleon. So I don't know, maybe the wording is off. It, it just says it increases the attack bar of allies by 15% each if there are no harmful effects to remove. I'm assuming it's unit specific. Like if it applied to all your allies got the attack bar increase if one of them didn't have anything to cleanse. I mean, sure, that would be kind of crazy actually. <laughs> Depending on the situation, it might be good. I really don't like this for uh, speed tuning. And then we technically have a buff to the uh, water harpy. They are changing the rat hunt skill. It's now gonna be two attacks, it is still gonna do about the same amount of damage, but they slightly lowered the chance to defense break. It is a 45% chance to defense break, but times two. But it's definitely better than the one times 50. Water Harpy needs a 2A or something to be relevant. The third skill is cool where it uh, is a guaranteed crit, but the damage ratio is really bad. So it's not like she can even kill something anyway, because I've tried to ruin her up. It's like, it does like 30,000. It's not enough to kill anything. <laughs> and then we have a change that is actually kind of impactful. The Water Steel Commander or Water Azo from the Assassin's Creed collaboration event. They are changing his awakening. It is no longer crit rate increase. It is now attack speed increase. This allows the unit to get up to, I believe it is now 113 base speed. This unit with his third skill is an AOE strip that also puts attack buff and attack bar increase on, I believe it's attack buff on the slowest unit and attack bar increase on the second fastest unit. So depending on how you have your team set, it, it's gonna definitely make this unit a lot quicker, which you can't go wrong with base speed increases at all. It's like gonna make a unit stronger regardless. So I think it's a good change for the unit. I do think the third skill can kind of use some work still. It's definitely more exciting, I think, depending on what kind of cleave setup we want to go for this unit. I am pretty excited to see if this is going to be any better now. And then lastly, we have a buff to the Madeline Cookie or the Choco Knights for the water one. It is no longer going to be attack power of ally monsters and guild content by 33%. It has now increased the HP of all ally monsters by 25%, and I'm assuming this is everywhere. So I think this is a global increase everyone's HP by 25%. And you know, maybe it'll be useful. I don't think it's going to be that impactful, but depending on what kind of teams you want to come up with, I think this unit still needs a lot of work. I hope they make it more relevant. It needs some kind of damage increase or what. I did make my video on it back a little while ago about the combination between the AoE counterattack with this unit, and it was a lot of fun, but I think it the unit still needs buffs for sure. And that's actually the last change this entire patch. I really think water units got screwed over with this one. The only nerfs this patch were pretty much to the water units or their light counterparts. So there were no, no wind unit buffs. All the broken wind units are still gonna be strong and gross. And they pretty much gave me like no new content to really play around with. Besides the five-star change, I guess Water Monkey's a little bit better and so is the Chimera, but they aren't really game-changing at all. I gotta say, 
I'm kind of disappointed with this balance patch. I really am. There were definitely a lot of units I, I wanted to see changed. Where's my water robo buffs? That's gonna be it for this balance patch. I mean, do let me know what you think about these changes in the comments down below. I'm, I'll am i try to theory craft and think about some more content we can create with this. Maybe we'll revisit the water vampire and see if this is gonna be any better for him. What changes would you have liked to see? There were a lot of water changes that I think could have been done that weren't. Talking about you, Cassandra, the water Cassandra, who still doesn't have 100% defense break on her second skill. All right, that is gonna be it. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, bye-bye everybody.